Hello everybody and welcome to this process tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can use a chatbot like Google Gemini and then upload images like furniture and a space, write a prompt and then create a stage environment. Disclaimer, this is also inspired by some of the images I saw while recently starting to learn how to use Rayon, which is a really great online 2D drafting tool. Then the really interesting part of this process overview is we're going to use the chatbot and have a conversation with it. For example, I will tell it to judge it like an interior designer. And it will then basically give, will give you a rundown of everything what you did. This was a design done by the AI, so I assume also that it will be good. But it's never bad to ask, hey, what could be done better? And then we will get another rundown of different ideas, what could be done in addition to improve this environment. Further, for those who are not very familiar with writing the prompts, I'm showing you also how easy it is simply to ask the chatbot of how you have to structure your prompts to do certain tasks. And it will give you pretty good examples. And then to bring this to an end, then we will use the chatbot again as a conversational tool and ask it to create four different room layouts. For example, this one or this one, Unfortunately, the third and the fourth, it kind of forgot about, but that's okay. We could just always rerun this prompt or make more. But you see already how this or that one specifically is a really nice variation compared to the first uh, room result we got. And then to bring everything to an end, to have some fun, we'll just ask it to create a chaotic and messy image. And with all that said, let's do it. But before we get started, please hit the like, subscribe and notification button so you will never miss any upcoming video. And now let's really get started. Our first step will be to upload our reference images. So we go to add files, upload files, and the order again is very important. We would like in our task to take the furniture from the first image and apply that into the space of the second image. And this furniture board has a more squarish layout and this has a more um, yeah, horizontal layout. So in our prompt, we will say furniture to the room. So that's also then the way how with Gemini, we should upload the images. If we upload the space first and then the furniture board, it will actually put the room into this image and then position the furniture. So it will change the aspect ratio of the image. So that said, first the furniture, because that goes into the image with the space. And then we can write a very simple prompt. For example, place the furniture into the room. Okay, now it's very simple. It's enough for the AI to do something, but we don't really give the AI clear instructions of what I really would like to do. And that is why writing this now will be very helpful. So we go to the next line and then we say place the bat centered along the right wall. Then place a night stand and night light left and right. Place the carpet under the bat. That actually also now will tell the AI how big this carpet has to be. The gray chair is against 
the left white wall accompanied by the brown ottoman. To give the AI a little bit of freedom, we could now also say, feel free to place the black wire chair, the lower vase, and the hanging chandelier where they would fit. Okay, very good. This way, um, I'm kind of like giving the AI also a little bit of freedom, not to just follow directly my instructions, not just function as a render tool, but as an ideation tool. And let's hit submit. And there it is. Take a look at that. And this is actually so far the best result I ever got out because it got the chandelier correctly. Uh, the sh I always had troubles with the chandelier to be perfectly positioned right there where I wanted it. But take a look at the pet, left and right, nightstands left and right, the night lights, the carpet perfectly scaled. And yeah, this is all quite nice. No? So what else can we do with this now? We could ask the AI to provide feedback. Imagine you are an interior designer. Whoops. Judge the room layout and staging. And then the more you uh, provide what it should do, the more detailed of an outcome you get. And what does it say? Oh, it looks like a beautiful serene space. As in true, I would say, oh, it's stretching is fantastic, a really grounded feeling. The room achieves a moody, modern, <laughs> I can't read, minimalistic and organic aesthetic. <clears throat> Staging, flurry vase, yeah. texture. A plus design, well, yeah, <laughs> AI, you're judging your own work. So we could ask what could be improved or made better. And now here, as you can see, you know, it can get quite interesting. So it says swap out the nightstand lamp for fixtures with different heights, uh, vertical texture on the right wall. Okay, anchor the seating area, the gray are slightly floating in the corner. Yeah, and uh, this is actually, this look very boring. So it actually, it gets that. Um, Bedside storage, yeah. Okay, very good. No, so you see um, it can provide quite logical feedback to it. So um, just as a tip, by the way, if you don't know really how to write something, you could also ask the AI, how do I have to write a prompt if I would whoops, like you to provide different room layout and staging ideas. Specifically, when you're new to this, uh, if you, you might not have the uh, experience, but take a look at this now. It gives you a really good um, approach how to think about how to write these instructions. Okay, so uh, last step. Gener generate four very unique and uh, 
different, well, actually unique and different is the same, very unique or very different, well, let's go with unique, room layout and staging ideas based on the last image. And also here, now I just simply say for very unique. I'm not necessarily, uh, or I'm not giving any specific directions or so. Um, I could have, for example, said something that's more harmonious, something that's more uh, a symmetry or something. But uh, it only made two, but you see this, is kind of like arranged a little bit more. That actually looks pretty good. I uh, changed a little bit of the architecture, but that's fine. It's also an interesting suggestion, makes sense. Um, I put the like a, a table on the left wall, makes sense. You could put a TV onto there. The furniture combination, the sets where the windows are, that actually also makes sense so this is actually not quite bad um we could also do some funny things like we could say create a very messy and chaotic layout I think that's going to be my YouTube um, thumbnail. Oh yeah, <laughs> yep, that looks pretty messy. Okay, I hope that with this quick demonstration, you saw how easy to use and how fast and quite helpful the Gemini AI or any type of text image-based AI can be with which you can have a conversation to explore different style variations, or in this case here, room layouts. And that's it.